Okay, so this video, I want to talk about something a lot of people don't talk about. It's uh, repairing uh, plaster walls. You know, it's older houses, man. You get into these houses, I'm deep over in um, like East Chicago, Indiana. So, you know, we got a lot of houses over here, 80, 90, 100 years old, all plaster houses, you know. So then you got plaster on top of the plaster. You got laugh. I mean, you know, you know, not laugh, duh. You got plaster. So old house settling, you can see. You see how old it is by all the cracks. See, it was cracks in every corner. It's over a basement. Um, so how do you how do you repair this? Okay, number one thing you can do is get you some plaster. Nobody wants to do that. I mean, it's a it's it's an art form, and if you haven't dealt with plaster, you don't want to deal with plaster. But you can get plaster and break it up and repair these walls with plaster. That's ideally what you want to do. Okay, well, what I did was went on, chipped it away, and repaired it with drywall mud. Now, thing about that is. You got to fan it out where you get rid of your edges as much as possible when you sand it. Simply because it's drywall. I mean, it's a plaster. So it's two different, actually two different materials. So you, you, you know, you want to blend one material into the other material. Okay. Now I've just sanded it. So you can tell by all the dust and you have all the dust everywhere. So now the next step, I'm going to go through, I'm going to wipe this down, get a wall's chance to dry. Then we prime it out and we paint it with some good product. Okay, typically in a closet, you want to, you know, I'll do flat, but this is a different project. So I'm going to put a little eggshell on it for the homeowner. You know, we're going to see how these repairs blend in. If they don't blend in, uh, then we might have to fan them out some more. And then we'll go with a flat to just make it all look like one solid piece. But what I'm saying is when you prepare when you're preparing plaster, preparing over plaster, be prepared to do extra steps. Extra steps. You gotta fan it out, you gotta make those edges disappear, you gotta wipe it down. Okay, I mean, as you can see, I don't know if you can see the discrepancies in the wall. Plaster is not. A smooth product. It's not a smooth product like drywall. You know, we're used to drywall walls. That's a substrate that's been manufactured in a in a facility uh, that you know that, that's that they keep everything separate and, and and you can get a clean sheet. Plaster is done on site. These walls were done on site, made with layers, and someone was smoothing this in and created this wall. So you're not going to get a smooth wall. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. You don't get smooth walls. Like you can see these walls. I don't know if you can see the ripples in these. You know, see the ripples in these. Yeah, like I said, it's a whole house. So that's plaster. That's what plaster do. But you're not going to get smooth walls with plaster. You don't. You're not going to get smooth walls. And I have to educate a lot of my clients about that. Your walls, and I want my walls smooth. I was like, okay, well, if you want your walls smooth, we have to go on top of your walls. They're like, why? I'm like, because they're plaster walls. Plaster walls are not smooth. They might be smooth to the touch. But you look at it visibly, you can see all the indiscrepancies. You can see that. That's what's going to happen over time. And that's, you know, that's normally from, that's, you know, from humans. These, this, these were made with human hands. Drywall is not made with human hands. Drywall is not me. It's drywall is drywall. It's pressed in place. And that's what you got, a flat product. So, you know, got a little education for the day. Get your own business, man. Don't work for nobody. I said it. Make it happen.